right? Right now, let me let me give you a quote. Mm. We have less than 20 African fighters in the UFC, mm -hmm. and we have three African champions. Think about that. Let that sink in. Massive, massive, massive. <laughs> Imagine we have more of us in the UFC right today, mm -hmm. right now. What is going on? Other promotions as well. Yeah, yeah. In other some promotions, some promotions barely have any African fighters. Some so promotions. building up from this, Farouk. My question for you is, what does this win by uh, Francis Ngannou? What does it do to uh, to an African kid? Like, how does it motivate an African kid or an African out there? Um, it's going to do a lot in motivating African kid, anybody, an African out there. They reach the poor. Mixed martial arts is not going to be, it's, it's, not, it's something that is going to be talked about across Africa, especially Cameroon after last mm. night. Mm. It's a sport that, even if you've never heard of mixed martial arts before, mm. after it's in Cameroon or in Bate, mm. you know what a mixed martial art is. So every young child from Cameroon or other part of Africa will be aspiring to be a fighter, one way or the other, either a mixed martial artist or mm. a judo fighter or a taekwondo, taekwondo artist or, or um, or um, karate. So there's opportunities. There's a lot of doors opening for, mm. for young people. And I encourage our young people, instead of staying idle, not doing anything, it's high time we'll look at opportunities. Francis Ngannou's story, we're trying to do something about that, which for some reason we could not put out a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Story coming, out, very coming, out, coming out, coming out in a couple of days, inshallah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, coming out, coming out. Yeah, mm -hmm. the story is very inspiring. He left Cameroon because he could not provide. He started, he, he worked in the sand mine as a young mm -hmm. boy. Mm. Go through a lot, who strict miles to school. Mm. He left because he wanted to find a way to better his future and provide for his family. Mm. Took the risk, traveled across different seas, got to Spain, from Spain, got to France, from France, got to um, Las Vegas. So that that tells you the limit you can push yourself to. That it's never it's never impossible. Impossible is nothing. It's only in our mind. So Francis Ngando showed that. You know, every young child can achieve this. You can come from the poorest of family, from the from having nothing to something. So it's a good step. And I think in a year or two from now, I think you are, we are going to see a lot of MMA gyms, mixed martial arts gyms, and all that. I think we are also working on that African fighters. Okay. Let's let to prayer. African fighters will put a gym in Sokoto in two years' time. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> com combat sports is yeah. actual was actually a thing back in. Africa. There is a Senegalese wrestling. There is mm -hmm. uh, there's Dembe in the northern part of Nigeria. There is Kokoa too in the northern part mm -hmm. of Nigeria. Dembe is a, is a fighting that only like you strike with one hand. Basically, just mm -hmm. imagine wrapping your hand up with a glove and then striking with only one hand. That's the rule. Then Kokoa is amateur wrestling, like the one yeah. in the Olympics. Similar to Senegal, Senegal one as well. No, no, no. They don't really strike in Nigerian, mm -hmm. Nigerian Kokoa. Kokoa. Yeah. But then there's also in the southern part of Nigeria, there's what they call Gidigbo. Gidigbo mm. is sort of like the Kokoa, too. It's sort of like amateur wrestling, too. Mm. And then in Cameroon, boxing is very popular. Mm. So the, the combat sports is already exists. But then you, uh, MMA, mixed martial art, being a new sport, fairly a new sport in the world, because right now we don't even really know what the rules are. Every promotion has its own kind of rules, and the rules are still opening up because there's always confusion. Just and check out recently, uh, Leon Edwards versus Bilal Mohammed, and also um, Jan Stalin versus uh, Peter Jan. Peter Jan, yeah. Yeah, they, they they've been confusion. One fights one fights judgment contradicted the other one because of the yeah. rules. The rules are the not rules. really really set properly. So, same as Africa, we have still not found out that okay. Imagine that a Dembe fighter and a Kokoa fighter, and then. Putting everything to, <laughs> everything together, it's mix, mix martial art and boxing boxing too. So like, if if we kind of like uh, figure out how to bring all these fighters and then teaching them the rest of disciplines in martial arts, then mm -hmm. yeah, as you said, it takes to just open a mix martial mix martial art gym, MMA gym, but it takes a lot a lot more investment mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, tal the talent is already there. The talent yeah. is already there. Just yeah. invest investment and money. And then, well, to find somebody to put money into that, man.
Well, anyway, it's a big risk. But Don't forget, yeah. we can go to, we can go to um, go for me. We can start something. That sometimes we should be, we should be like Francis and Gano. We should initiate something for the for the public. Go to go for me. Look for funding. People donate. Build a gym for free for everybody for young people to participate. So this can be an idea for anybody watching out there. So let's unite like Osman and. And in Gano, and let's build the world. Let's make the world. All right, all right, all right, bro. All right, all right. All right. I think yeah. I think this is a very is a very rich topic about because of yeah. the, the knowledge yeah. we both have of what's going on back home back and home. how how realistic <clears throat> MMA can be. We also have a friend Easy that is uh that has already started his MMA thing. He's teaching you little kids how to punch and stuff and fight. Mm. So yeah. yeah, yeah, it has already started. Recently, uh, last year, mm -hmm. recently this year, right? There was a MMA reality show in yeah. Nigeria called the African Knockout. The African Knockout, yeah. And these people don't really know about there's an African promotion in South Africa called EFE, although it's is a uh, EFC. I think EFC, so. sorry, EFC. Yep. It has mostly it has uh, the white South Africans which mm. they are also in the UFC, but people don't really see them as Africans because of the color of their skin. Mm -hmm. excuse me mm -hmm. but yeah there is always there's there's already a presence of mma in yeah. south africa herb yeah. dean went to south africa and do, do, did some things about mma there so not her, mm. not my Dean, sorry my goddard okay. my goddard went there did a couple of things there yeah i'm pretty sure ufc knew about them because the the champions from efc have transitioned into the ufc, into UFC yeah. Yeah, we would, yeah. yeah we would also talk about that soon in the channel so yeah there, there is a there is there is a light there's a light for yeah. Africa, yeah. inshallah yeah. and there's a future a bright future for the for young africans who want to go into mixed martial arts to wrap up yeah. this direction yeah. yeah 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 all right all right my people so Farouk, what do we go talk about now come on africans Ow.